I want to introduce Lenz's law, which tells us that if you try to change the magnetic flux, the magnetic field lines, through some closed loop, you will induce a voltage around that loop. Now that voltage may produce a current, depending on whether the material, uh, how much resistance it has to the flow of electricity. And if it does, that can produce a counter magnetic field, which points in a direction opposite the change that we're trying to impose. Now, I'm gonna take a piece of carbon like this, and if I drop it, if I drop that magnet, the magnet produces a voltage around that cylinder, but because it's a poor conductor, it doesn't generate much of a magnetic field to oppose it. If I change to aluminum, on the other hand, I see that it's a bit slower, and if I change to copper, it's even slower because copper is the best conductor of the bunch. A thought to leave you with is this. What happens if I remove all resistance to electric flow? And you can find the answer to that by looking in my, uh, on my channel, Kuhn Physics. You can look for superconductors.